Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a very long overdue empties. And since there's so many products, I thought I would just film it like this way because if I do like one product at a time, it's just gonna be way too long and boring probably. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like do some speed reviews and show you like it's almost a year's worth of empties really because I see that I still have Christmas hand soaps in here which is ridiculous anyway so let's just get started so first I just took all these <laughs> hand soaps out because they were just in the front and I'm not gonna go through all of them but these are all my Young Living hand soaps so they're the company that I buy my essential oils from so they're like essential oil based hand soap I really like them but I stopped buying the individual ones because obviously like it's a lot of waste and they have refills so I just keep these I keep one of these now and I just keep refilling it so these are my old ones that I can recycle but I had two um, from Christmas so there was a uh, Christmas spirit. There's a winter nights. Two lemon, luscious lemon, and two thieves. Which thieves is like the soap that I keep in my kitchen. I really like it. But yeah, just wanted to show you that um, because I used too much of those <laughs> in the individual bottles. Um, and then I just had these random ones. This one I got from Boxy Pop Up. It's a Epsom salt hand and body wash and it had uh, lavender oil in it. So I really liked this. Um, I actually was using it as a body wash at first, but then I switched it out for using as a hand soap because I ran out. But yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I really liked this too, Winter Candy Apple from Bath and Body Works. That was a nice one. And this was, um, a soap from like a pack at Costco I believe which is like a really nice bottle um but I and it's coconut hibiscus but I put the rest of this in a like fall themed soap dispenser so I'm using it up that way but that was the bottle it came in and I really like this one too um these are just some body washes so I had the Trader Joe's refresh citrus body wash with vitamin c i really like this but i didn't find like it smelled strong enough for my liking like i would have liked it to be more i don't know grapefruity but it was still really good and it was a big size for pretty inexpensive i can't wait to go back to trader joe's <laughs> Uh, they're finally reopening the border, so that's fun. But um, these are two Lush shower gels. This is uh, in English. I guess it's just eggnog, right? Le de Poule. Uh, I love this one. And this was the very, very frightening. I really like this one too. And I, I don't know if Lush still does like that thing where you can bring in empties. So... I'm gonna see about that because you used to be able to get a free face mask. And I actually have another Lush empty here. Oh, this was the cookie dough um, body scrub. That was fun too, but I'm not really like a body scrub kind of person because I don't really know how to use it because you can't really get water in it, but then I have to do it in the shower. So it's just a bit weird, but I use this too. Um, then we have like tons of skincare. I hope this is in focus. <laughs> yeah, so these are all face mists or micellar water in this case. But I had this little mini tart, uh, Rainforest of the Sea. What was this called? Marine Boosting Mist. Uh, this was in my travel bag because I did also go through the regular size of this and I was refilling this little one to bring traveling but I finally ran out so now this is an empty. Uh, this was the Pixie Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. 
Uh, I don't even remember <laughs> what I felt about this. It was okay, I guess. Um, it had like an oil in it, so you had to shake it up before using it. Um, yeah, nothing really like extraordinary. This, I'm really sad, that is empty. My Sephora Coconut Water Hydrating Mist because they don't make these anymore and this was amazing. Just to like refresh even um, throughout the day, like especially in the summer when it was hot. I really liked this. I don't know why they got rid of it, to be honest. Um, this was a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist that I finished. This was in my project pen. Um, I think then I replaced that with this in my project pen, the Kodali uh, Beauty Elixir. I really like this. It, this is just like the travel size and I feel like I went through it really fast. So I probably wouldn't buy this size again, but yeah, I really like this. I will say the first time I used this, it burned my eyes. <laughs> And not because I got it in my eyes, like it just, I don't know, it was really strong for some reason. But then my skin like got used to it, I guess. So if that happened to you, maybe just try it again and see if you like it. Because it could have just been a one-time thing. That's another product that has like oils in it, so you have to shake it. And then this is the Tarte Micellar Magic. I actually do not like this for removing eye makeup because it actually doesn't do that good of job but it was good like all over the face and it didn't like break me out or anything so I finished that oh here was another shower gel that I missed the aloe I guess from fruits and passion I don't think that exists in America um but yeah it's a store in Canada. Well, it used to be, and now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But this was the Shower Gel Ocean Flower, which was really nice, because I like like sea salt kind of things. Um, then this is like a bunch of skincare. So this was uh, the Joey Moisturizing Light Cream. I got this from Influencer, and I really liked it. It was a bit like too lightweight maybe for my dry skin but it was fine to use as like a day cream i have two um like deluxe sample eye creams which actually lasted me forever especially this one the kodali energizing and smoothing eye cream um I don't really know if this did anything, but I did like how it felt. Like it was kind of more like a gel texture, so it was like a bit refreshing. So I used this in the morning. And this one was the Fresh, well, that's really small, Black Tea. You can't even see that. <laughs> Black Tea Firming Eye Serum. I don't remember this doing much, but yeah, I had that. Um... Also from Influencer, I had gotten some Dr. Belmar uh, products. This was the Sika Hydro Cream. I remember liking this. Uh, I think. <laughs> this was like so old, I don't remember. But yeah, I used that up probably as another like day cream. Um, this is a fresh soy face cleanser. I have like four of these and I have a big jumbo one as well. This is my travel cleanser, which I've mentioned a lot before. So I've never used this as my daily cleanser. So I can't say for sure how good it is for dry skin, but it doesn't like irritate or make my skin feel super tight or anything. So yeah, I like this one. This was a mini Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. This was also in my travel bag. Um, I don't really know if this is good for dry skin. I don't know. It's kind of like gimmicky Hydro Blur because it had that kind of mattifying effect, if you know what I mean. But I used the whole thing and I remember liking it. So yeah. 
Then I had this also from Influencer, the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. Uh, this product is like 90 something dollars and I used it up in like, I feel like a month. It was like I audibly gasped when I <laughs> got to the end of it because I was using it with the serum and I still have the serum like it's still full well not full but it's still like not empty at all and this is so is just and this just went so quickly I don't really understand why because you're meant to use them both together but there's only like 0.5 yeah 0.5 fluid ounces in here so that's like not a lot of product for a face cream so I just used it up way too fast for the price point in my opinion and I don't remember it doing much either so I don't think I'd recommend this product. Um, oh this was a jar of 60 I think. Yeah this was a jar of 60 uh, face, what are they called? Dynamic resurfacing facial pads from Elemis. I got this in a boxy Lux, I believe and I really liked these. I think you can buy Elemis at Sephora in Canada. I'm not sure. I think they're kind of pricey, but I did really like these. And another Dr. Belmar product, the Vita Serene Tone Smoothing Serum. I liked the texture of this. It was kind of like jelly, if you know what I mean. And this brand is like a Korean inspired skincare brand, so it was like really good anyway <laughs> but uh i don't really know what this was supposed to do i just felt really good so yeah there's that the avon footworks uh i mentioned before that i really loved this this is like a really good product it had like beads in it but they were i think jojoba jojoba beads I want to say like they weren't like scratchy or anything and it actually worked so yeah I really like that I don't know if it's they still make it um this I feel like has been in my empties before <laughs> I don't know maybe it's in my project pen this was the um sweet grapefruit fragrance body mist from Alta Beauty this is ancient because I bought it when I went to Maine, which was like a long time ago. <laughs> I don't even remember when, but it was like over two years ago, I think. But yeah, uh, I liked the smell of this, but I felt like right after I sprayed it, like you couldn't smell it anymore. But it was also only $6, so yeah. Oh, then I have like some boring toothpaste, but you guys know if you watch my other empties, I always talk about toothpaste because I'm on the hunt for a good one. So I think I like this one the best, the Glamorous White, but I haven't used it in a while, so I don't remember. Uh, this one I hated, so don't get this. Colgate Revitalizing White with Activated Charcoal. This did nothing and actually made my teeth feel like less clean, if that even makes sense. And then the Thieves um, whitening toothpaste, I didn't find was whitening enough, so yeah. This is just a Batiste Tropical Coconut, Coconut and Exotic Tropical, I don't know, dry shampoo. Batiste is a really good dry shampoo if you just want like something affordable and you know, uh, hassle free so yeah I have that um, oh I also have a deodorant which I wanted to mention because like my toothpaste adventure <laughs> I'm also trying to find a more like natural deodorant that actually works this one is the winner so far um, the Schmitz charcoal and magnesium I really like this, but it was just a sample, so I went through it kind of fast, but I would repurchase this one. But I also want to try the Native brand first, maybe, so we'll see. And I have some masks here. I used more than this, but I keep the ones that I feel like I have something to say. 
about, but then I left them in here too long, so I don't <laughs> really remember. Oh dear. This is from the creme shop. I got this from BoxyCharm. The refresh and replenish foot mask with peppermint and tea tree oil. I must have kept this because I liked it. Um, yeah, this was a foot mask. So it was, you know, those little booties that you wear. So I probably like this, <laughs> I want to say. Um, this one, oh yeah, this I really liked, but I don't know where it came from. The Healing Glow Sheet Mask. This was, um, yes, this was one of those masks where, like, there's a chin part, you know, if it could focus. There's, like, this part that you put on your chin and you hook on your ears. And I just felt like this actually worked. Um, I think I got it in a, my stocking last Christmas. So I'd have to ask my stepmom where she got this because I remember liking it. Oops. <clears throat> oh, and the Sephora Dragon Fruit Hair Sleeping Mask. I don't, I don't remember if I liked this actually. Um, because my hair is really long, so if I try and put it up so that I could get the cap over it, like, it's too much hair. So the cap, like, didn't even stay on my head the whole night, and I don't really remember it doing much, so. But yeah, I think it smelled really good, if I remember. Also from Sephora, I just kept these, um, to mention that the Sephora... Organic cotton pads. I really liked these. They're huge, so you can actually cut them in half, which is what I did, and then you can, you know, make them last longer. But I don't use cotton pads anymore because I have those reusable ones now. But I don't know if you don't want the reusable ones. These were pretty good. And the Sephora, this is weird, but the Sephora Q tips are actually amazing. <laughs> They are um, organic. They're made with organic cotton. And you get 200 for $3, I think. Which is more expensive than like, you know, those big jumbo boxes you can get at the drugstore. But the shape of these is really good. Like they actually get in your ear, if you know what I mean. And I have allergies, so my ears are itchy like every day so I all I use like a lot of q-tips if that's like not too much information <laughs> but I really like these and um I bought them again because Sephora was doing like 30% off or like you got so much points if you bought something that was Sephora collection so that's when I got the second one but I would buy these again Maybe during the VIB sale, I'll probably add them to my cart because I think they're doing 30% off Sephora collection when they do the VIB sale. So, yeah, just thought I'd mention that. I think that is it for, like, body and stuff. So, now I have some makeup empties, which is exciting. Let me just go through my oil empties first because I know not everyone cares about this, so you could skip ahead, but the this was uh, Cinnamon Bark Essential Oil. Love this. Um, I use this in a lot of the products I make, which I have an Etsy shop for. If you didn't know, the link's always in the description, but I love this. Um, cinnamon's just like very comforting aroma to me, so yeah. I make lip balm and perfumes with that and all kinds of stuff. Uh, same with this frankincense. Uh, this is in a lot of my products also. It's more expensive, so I try to use it sparingly, <laughs> but it's really good for your skin. And um, yeah, I really like that one. Peppermint is another one that I use up quite quickly because I add it to my diffuser a lot and I make products with it as well. Orange, also I make perfumes with, um, lip balm, yeah. That's just a good 
basic citrus to have. Lavender, one of my favorites in tons of products that I make and I diffuse lavender a lot so I go through this quickly also. Uh, lemon, I use this for cleaning, for products, for diffusing, just a really good one to have. And Copaiba is actually not an essential oil. It's like a kind of like a sap like a tree sap but it's a really good like grounding oil um that you add like to dilute skincare and stuff like that so i use this quite a lot too but that's all my oils so finally here's my here are my makeup empties not really that exciting because it's like mostly mascaras and pencil products but I finally um, am getting rid of my Barbie lip balm because I think it just expired. It just doesn't smell the same anymore. But I did actually use up quite a lot of it. If you can see, there's a pan in it, but it just doesn't smell the same anymore. So that's gotta go. I have a MAC. Uh, Oat and Naughty Lash. This was like one of those that's like a two-in-one. So there's like a volumizing part. And then you use this smaller brush for like lengthening, I think. I think I like this. It just dried out. So it's in my empties. Uh, this also dried out the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. But I do remember liking this one. This is one of my favorite mascaras. Um at Sephora, like a more high-end one. The IT Cosmetics Superhero. This is like the only mascara that I feel like actually keeps the curl of your lash. Like the way, how you put it on is the way it like looks all day long. So that's why I like this one a lot. Um, this is just a black eyeliner that just got too old and dried out. It was from a BoxyCharm. If I can get it, the Starlux Pro eyeliner pen. I honestly didn't get to use it much because it just dried out, so I don't remember much about it. Oh, this was one of my favorite lip balms, the Revlon. Revlon. Revlon Kiss. This was the coconut one, like the tropical coconut. I even like dug into it to get. <laughs> every last bit of it um, because I liked it so much so I would repurchase this but I actually have another Revlon kiss that's a berry or something so I don't need to get this one but yeah it's really good um, this was the Benefit Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer this is a weird product because it's like one of those things where you're not sure if it actually does anything because it's just like a clear gel that's supposed to like condition your brows. But I do feel like I remember liking this and I always liked how my brows looked when I used this. Um, but yeah, it's just, well, it, it stopped coming out so I assumed it was empty but then the it also broke, so I can't twist it up anymore anyway, so that's done. Oh, this, the Kush Mascara. This one I liked at first. This is from Milk Makeup, by the way. It's the one with, like, CBD oil in it or whatever. Yeah, so I liked this at first, but then it started to get really dry and crumbly. So there's actually probably a lot more product in here, but it, I just can't wear it because it just flakes and smudges all over. So yeah, that's got to go. Oh, this is a um, very exciting empty because this is the primer in my project pen and it just kept on going and going, but it's finally done. The First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This is one of my favorite primers. Um, so I am kind of sad that it's done, but also, like, it was getting old, so, yeah, I used it up. Oh, and I have a sponge. This is the Real Techniques sponge. Um, this one, 
I it just got old but also I felt like it stopped getting as soft like when I would wet it so I thought it was like time to go plus there's a hole in it somewhere so yeah oh here's another line eyeliner that dried out before I could really finish it the Tarte so fine this is like a really fine eyeliner as the name suggests but yeah it just dried up another eyeliner that dried up <laughs> my Marc Jacobs blacker um, I didn't get to use this one much either and it was actually at first in my project pen but then I lost it and then I found it but then when I went to use it it was too dry so that's done this is a sample Fenty Beauty mascara I think I liked this but it dried up before like I could use it more so yeah and then this is one of my favorite lip glosses, the Marc Jacobs Pretty Thing, right? Yeah. Um, there, as you can see, it's not empty, but this actually went bad. <laughs> it smells like vinegar, like it's really not good. But I actually bought the full size of this um, because like, you know, everything that's Marc Jacobs is like 50% off because they're... I think they're rebranding or they're going vegan. I don't know. I've heard all kinds of things, but I did buy this in the full size. That's how much I like it. So, but this one's just going in the garbage. I think that's it. So I hope you liked, I hope you liked this video. I don't know. <laughs> it was just like really quick and I just had to fill my empties because I want to get rid of this stuff and actually the bag that I, you know, my Sephora bag that I keep all my empties in, it bursted. So that's how full it was, so I thought it was time. But anyway, um, yeah, so if you like this video, give it a like, a like, <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.